Greetings, this is Vicki Sokol Evans, Microsoft Certified Trainer and founder of The Red Cape Company, where we outfit superheroes like you with the latest technology in order to help you reduce late hours at the office, yet still get three times more done in one day. Today I'd like to share with you how I effortlessly work with data in Excel, while at the same time building great looking and branded spreadsheets in minutes instead of hours. Stay tuned for details on how to get your hands on the step-by-step -step instructions and when and where you can join me for a half-day workshop in a city near you so that we can get some hands-on practice and truly master these important skills. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm working on a budget for our spring fundraiser and I have separated out my expenses, my budget my, my budget for this fundraiser and I see I have sites expenses here and refreshments here decorations program expenses publicity expenses prizes and so on so I want to show you how I get this um, looking professional branded and also manage the data very easily I'm gonna click in this first set of expenses and I'm gonna use my very favorite feature called format as a table and you can see these really nice colors let's go with kind of green look and feel and it identified even though I clicked in this um, cell right here identified that this was the range I was looking for my table indeed has headers so I'm gonna go ahead and click OK and it makes it really nice good, good nice look and feel for that list of expenses I'm gonna do the same thing for each one of these and make it um, all consistent and format as a table and just keep doing that for each one. And you'll notice that um, it gave me a strange column name on that one. It gave me column A, column one. Same thing here because I didn't have the word estimated. So I'm going to show you how to, to fix that in just a second. But let me go ahead and get all of these into table format. And table has headers, format as a table as headers and do my last table here okay so then I would come up here and I'm going to type the word estimated and then hit tab and then I'm gonna click here for actual you'll notice that my table auto expands it grows um, as I need new columns which I love so much it saves me so much time that it just brings in that same format and instead of typing I'm going to go ahead and paste and paste and same thing paste beautiful okay so the next thing I'm going to do add a total row for each one so I click in the table itself I notice I get table tools design tab and I click in design tab and I just go ahead and click on the total row for each one and when I click in the total row you can see I have these drop downs so I'm going to get asked for the sum for each one of these and for this total row some here and some here and I can continue moving down here and adding the total row total row total row you'll notice that as soon as I click outside the table my table tools design tab goes away so you gotta be careful okay so just add some here Some. So my next thing I want to do is format this. So I want to make sure that I have currency for each one of these. So I'm going to go here and add my currency to make it look good. So I've got this looking great. I have my estimated expenses, my actual expenses. And as I add things in here, so let's say my actual expenses for food were 5238. You'll notice that the totals are now working quite nicely so 1200 300 for here and uh, we'll do 1300 here okay so you can see kind of the estimated and actual it's comparing it now what I want to show you is some of the benefits of using tables is so suppose we decide we're not going to have any hotel expenses since it's a local event so what I'm going to do is I'm going to I need to delete this line item for this table but I'm really worried about this line item here in the decorations table so I want to show you that when you right click and you delete a row in a table it does not affect 
any of the rows in other tables. Um, so balloons is still here on the left hand side even though I deleted the hotel line item um, in, in this case. So that's, that works quite nicely. The other thing I want to do is I want this to look like our branded documents, my other our branded documents and spreadsheets and presentations. So I'm going to go up to the page layout tab and look at the themes and see that they have these nice out of the box themes and the one that we typically use is one called Austin so I, I like to use this one called Austin because it has bright colors and it matches maybe it matches our our um, company's look and feel so if I click on Austin and, and the only thing I notice is that it's not doesn't include our fonts so it has our a great color set let go so it shows here here's our color set um, but I need to change the font set so I want to choose a different font set and typically we use um, Calibri for our headings and Constantia <laughs> for our our body text so I'm going to use the flow font set because this is what we typically use in our spreadsheets and our presentations so, um, so I'm able to quickly get this into a nice looking spreadsheet and the other thing if, if the orange ends up being too bright if I go back to format as a table you'll notice that the color the color set as part of my theme now has changed and I'm, I'm able to use these different colors so I can go back in here if I need to change it to a green color set or make it kind of offset to gray or brown I can certainly do that and I can go back in here and change it to different colors so that's how you effortlessly manage and format your spreadsheets using Excel. If you'd like to see more time-saving tips in Office, Word, Excel, and PowerPoint for either PC or Mac, be sure to sign up for our three-part video series that will be sent directly to your inbox. If you learn better by doing, then please join me for one of our small group hands-on sessions in either the US or the UK where you get valuable hands-on practice learning these time-saving skills that will truly help you reduce those late hours at the office. And of course, you can always find the step-by-step -step instructions in my book available in both paperback and on Kindle. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to connect with me online and join me for one of our live Red Cape events. Thanks so much, and we'll see you again soon.